Have you ever imagined a city that is so sophisticated that it does not seem to be designed for humans? Meet Songdo, a new business region in South Korea that is the outcome of decade-long collaboration between architects and urban planners. Songdo was developed with the intention of creating AI-controlled future cities, but the reality of what this smart city has become has us asking how effectively technology and community can be mixed, which has already happened in Songdo. Let's take a look at the bold plan for Songdo to know how to build the most advanced high-tech city from scratch. So stay tuned till the end, as we are going to share some interesting facts about Songdo City in this video. Getting back to the topic, Songdo was created from scratch on almost 1,500 acres of land that was reclaimed from the Yellow Sea in order to provide suburban expansion away from an already overpopulated Seoul. Technically speaking, Songdo is considered an extension of Incheon, which is a big international transportation hub that makes the city easy to reach for passengers coming from both within and outside of South Korea. It was envisioned that Songdo would be a totally sustainable, high-tech metropolis in the early years of the 21st century. This city would prepare for a future without vehicles, without pollution, and without congested areas. It was basically a paradise that provided everything that Seoul did not, and it was positioned as a new global economic hub, with the necessary skills and businesses that would enable it to compete with other Asian markets. In order to achieve these very ambitious objectives, some of the most cutting-edge urban technology in the world was used as a way of quantifying sustainability to support the largest concentration of LEED certified buildings in the world, the district is laced with sensors that track energy consumption and traffic movement. These sensors line the streets that link the district's many neighborhoods. In addition, Songdo is home to a large oceanfront park that provides enough public space and is provided with irrigation systems that can maintain themselves. Trash tubes collect trash from individual houses and transport it to a central facility, where it is mechanically separated into recyclables and refuse to be burned. Even houses are now being run by applications on smartphones, which regulate everything from the temperature of the artificial lighting to the heating and cooling systems. This vast metropolis has been built from scratch, beginning in 2001 when the idea for it was first conceived, with the goal of creating a civilization that is environmentally friendly, has a small carbon footprint, and is technologically sophisticated. The concept was dissected into its component parts, which include transportation, safety, management of natural disasters, the environment, and relationships with the local population. Some of the services that the city offers are smart bike services, the monitoring of cars that are linked to criminals, and motion detectors that look for anything out of the ordinary. Songdo has one of the greatest concentrations of buildings that have been awarded with the LEED certification, which means that it has gone above and beyond the requirements set out by Korea for a green rating. Songdo covers 1.5 million square meters and accounts for 40% of South Korea's total sustainable land area. The city was planned with 25 kilometers of bike paths to encourage walkability while simultaneously adjusting to a mass transportation system that relies on buses, subways, and bikes rather than vehicles. It is owned by Gale International, which is a controlling interest of 61%, POSCO, which has 30%, and Morgan Stanley Real Estate has the remaining 9%. The Cone Pedersen Fox location in New York is responsible for the design and the plan. The city of Incheon is contributing to the construction of infrastructure as well as providing finance, manpower, and other resources. Wide roads and a large number of bicycle routes and pedestrian walkways can be found throughout Songdo City. The neighborhoods are served by buses as well as by Incheon Metro Line 1 which currently has six stations and will add one more in 2021. Some of the stations include attractive interiors and indoor sky-lit views. Although the 12.3 kilometer Incheon Bridge makes travel to Incheon International Airport more expedient, getting to Seoul from the airport via the subway is less direct and requires multiple transfers. However, there are two red commuter buses that provide direct routes to the nation's capital. The first significant place in Songdo City is Central Park 1, Block D22, which is located in the heart of the city. It is often considered to be among the most desirable residential neighborhoods in the whole city. 
It has around three residential buildings with a total of 50 stories, each rising over the edge of an urban street. The buildings feature a distinctive wooden facade that resembles a lattice and is composed of energy efficient glass and aluminum. This allows the 729 residential apartments to enjoy the best possible views of the park and delivers natural light into the majority of the internal rooms. In addition to this, it is the first city in Korea to make use of salt water in the creation of a beachfront park. It was planned this way so that it would enhance the rainfall collection while simultaneously limiting the impact of a temperate island. In order to go around the man-made canal, tourists may use a water taxi. Due to its proximity to a lot of hotels, as well as a shopping center, it is a well-liked destination for vacationers. Next comes Central Park 2, which is located in Block D23, and includes a skyscraper with 50 stories, and two residential buildings that are each 40 stories tall. The outside of these structures has the same excellent performance as Central Park 1. The Songdo International City Library is hoped to be an important indicator for bringing culture to the neighborhood and developing closer ties with the people who live there. This public library is projected not only to act as a landmark, but also to function as a point of connection for both the inhabitants of the region and the tourists to the area, and to be a major indicator for bringing culture to the neighborhood. The library's circular layout not only allows for easy access from all directions, but it also has the least disruptive effect on the nearby kindergarten. In addition, the building is tilted 18.5 degrees to the south, which, according to an accurate measurement, makes it possible to have a space that is both bright and energy efficient. This is accomplished by shielding the space from the sun's rays during the summer months, while allowing it to absorb its warmth during the winter months. Moving forward, the Korean Convention Hub is the Songdo Convention Center. This landmark building, which is an essential component in the development of New Songdo City into a major worldwide commercial center, is conspicuously located at the southern end of the Central Park. When it comes to doing business and touring the greater Seoul metropolitan region, Songdo Convention Center is a destination that is both practical and appealing. This contemporary conference venue has enough space spread throughout its five stories. In addition to various show events and celebrations, it has the capacity to host 450 exhibitor booths. The low-rise complex is planned to look like a series of roof planes that fold over each other to create a landscape that brings the park's natural setting into the city. Large-scale folds, which looks like section of an arc, house the primary programmatic elements of the convention center. These elements include the exhibition halls, pre-function rooms, loading zone, and support spaces. The structural support areas are organized as a collection of independent blocks, on top of which the curving roofs float in the manner of an inverted sequence of boat hulls. The linear spaces in between these hull-shaped forms are curved upward to provide a sequence of sizable openings that force the pre-function spaces outward, interacting with the street and providing vast, well-lit gathering spaces for convention attendees. These openings are provided by the linear spaces between these hull-shaped forms. Finally, the tri Bowl Songdo is a multi-complex culture and art center that gives the impression that it is floating on water. It is well known for the breathtaking evening views of Songdo that it provides. Incheon is a city that maintains harmony with the earth, the sky, and the sea. These three elements are represented symbolically by three bowl-shaped structures that float on the water. The Korea Advanced Architectural Design Institute was selected as the deserving recipient of the 2010 Korean Architecture Award. At the moment, the Tri Bowl plays host to a variety of performances and exhibitions. That was all for today's video. I hope you have enjoyed the video. Feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section below. Moreover, if you are new and haven't subscribed to the channel yet, remember to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you won't miss any useful and informative daily videos. Thank you for watching and best of luck.